Today I'm at Clay Mills Victoria Pumping Station in Burton upon Trent. It's steam day today, so we should get a good look at the uh, the giant beam engines, the biggest in the UK. I'm really looking forward to this, so uh, I hope you enjoy it too. Cheers! Clay Mills Pumping Station is a fascinating example of Victorian industrial engineering located in Burton-upon-Trent, Staffordshire. It was built to pump sewage from the town to the sewage farms in the countryside, serving an important role in the sanitation and public health of the area. Clay Mills Pumping Station was constructed between 1885 and 1889 by the Burton upon Trent Corporation as part of a broader effort to improve sanitation. The town was experiencing rapid growth due to its brewing industry, which necessitated a modern sewage system to cope with the increasing waste. The station was designed by the civil engineer James Manser, who was known for his work on water and sewage projects. The station is a striking example of Victorian engineering with impressive brickwork, tall chimneys and large engine houses. It was fully operational from 1889 until it was decommissioned in 1971. During this time it played a crucial role in managing sewage and wastewater, preventing the contamination of the River Trent and maintaining public health. After its closure, the station fell into disrepair, but thanks to the efforts of volunteers and the Clay Mills Pumping Engines Trust, it has been restored and is now a museum and working heritage site that is designated as Grade 2 listed. The pumping station is powered by four massive beam engines built by Gimson and Company of Leicester. These engines are named Victoria, Prince Consort, Queen Mary and the Marquis Wellington and they are each capable of pumping around 3 million gallons of sewage per day. The 120 horsepower compound beam engines are so called as they use steam twice for greater efficiency. The steam first enters the high pressure cylinder and then the low pressure cylinder before being exhausted. 
The engines have a stroke of 10 feet and a bore of 32 inches for the high pressure cylinders and 54 inches for the low pressure cylinders. They were originally powered by five Lancashire boilers which generated the steam needed to drive the beam engines. These boilers were fired with coal which was delivered to the site by rail. The beam engines in turn drove large reciprocating pumps which moved the sewage through the large cast iron pipes. The pumps had double acting pistons, meaning they could pump on both the forward and return stroke, thus increasing efficiency. In addition to the main beam engines, the site also housed several smaller steam engines for auxiliary tasks, including pumping clean water to the boilers and driving workshop machinery. Clay Mills is one of the most complete surviving examples of a Victorian pumping station with much of the original machinery still intact and operational. It also has a collection of other historical machinery and tools used in maintaining the station. Due to its well-preserved state, Clay Mills has also been used as a filming location for various documentaries and historical films, offering a glimpse into the industrial past. Clay Mills Pumping Station is not just an industrial relic, but a living museum that continues to educate and inspire those interested in engineering, history and the Industrial Revolution. Its preservation allows visitors to step back in time and witness the power and ingenuity of Victorian engineering first hand.